16 most expensive things in the world. The Royal Diamond Chess Set is one of the most expensive board games in the world and would definitely checkmate your bank account. Priced at $600,000, the set was designed by master craftsman Bernard Maquin, a French jeweler, and is embroidered with almost 10,000 individual black and white diamonds, weighing 186 carats in all. A win in chess is sweet victory indeed, but winning on one of these luxurious boards would be even sweeter. Do you enjoy collecting stamps? If so, you definitely want this one-of-a-kind 1856 one-cent British Guiana stamp in your collection. The only thing holding you back is the $20 million price tag dangling from this collector's item and the unavailability of adequate funds in your bank account. Some people think the price is a reasonable sum to dole out for this item since it is the only surviving print of its kind and has rarely been glanced upon by human eyes. A team of Dutch scientists has created the first edible slab of meat produced in a lab. According to sources, the initial product, grown from cow muscle samples, cost the scientists $325,000 to produce. The intention of these Dutchmen is to develop a way to synthesize a protein-rich meal for growing populations and to limit the harmful effects the meat industry has on live animals. According to those who have had the burger, it is a bit dry and dull in flavor. Once the product is ready to be sold on the market, its price won't be nearly as steep as its initial production cost. Nick Cannon the current host of the television show America's Got Talent once wore a pair of diamond-clad shoes which cost him a hefty $2 million. The television personality was seen sporting these expensive shoes on the season 9 finale of America's Got Talent. The shoes are made up of a total of 14,000 full-cut white diamonds embedded into a white gold exterior. The diamonds have a total weight of 340 carats. Talk about walking around in style. This is an American one-cent copper coin, minted in 1793, which is the first year America began producing its coin currency. The coin sold for $1.38 million at a 2012 auction held in Florida. This coin is a priceless item in any coin collector's collection and is no longer the one-cent penny it was once worth in the 1700s. If you happen to find one of these while going through your coin purse, don't spend it. Looking for a good night out drinking? Look no further. This is the most expensive wine in the world. A six liter bottle of 1992 Screaming Eagle Cabernet. A single bottle of this wine fetched a price of $500,000 at a Napa Valley wine auction in the year 2000. Even though someone spent an amount equaling someone else's life saving skull, it was done in the good name of charity. Who in the world needs a mansion of this size? The Via Leopolda on the Mediterranean coast in southern France, recently purchased by a Russian billionaire, is worth over $430 million. The name of the owner has been concealed for security reasons. The house sits on 18 acres of land and is surrounded by a thicket of lush green trees. The property was once inhabited by King Leopold II of Belgium and has since had a variety of different owners. Playing beautiful music has just been given a whole new meaning. The Heinzmann Crystal Piano is the most expensive piano in the world, marked at $3.22 million. The piano was designed by Canadian manufacturer called Heinzmann Pianos and was built as a sturdy instrument to be played at public concerts. It was first played by Lang Lang, a renowned Chinese pianist at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing. Everyone in the Western world would agree that toilet paper is the household necessity. But when it comes to golden flake toilet paper, things may have gotten a little out of hand. This roll of toilet paper is priced at $1.38 million. Each strip of toilet paper is composed of three layers of 22 karat gold flakes to ensure maximum comfort. And yes, it has been tested to guarantee that it's safe to use. Every time you see this toilet paper whirling down your toilet, it'll feel like you've just flushed your hard-earned money down the drain. Just observing this work of art might make you feel like a rich person. The most expensive painting ever sold was called When Will You Marry by French painter Paul Gauguin. The closest estimation for its current worth is approximately $300 million. Gauguin's inspiration for this painting came when he visited Tahiti and saw the destruction that European colonization brought to the indigenous people there. 
This is a Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, one of only two models ever made in 1936 and 1938, respectively. Ralph Lauren owns one and has been marked at a whopping $40 million. Not only is this car a thing of beauty, but it has historical significance. Before Europe was ravaged by World War II in 1939, the Bugatti Atlantic was one of the last vehicles of extravagance built before everyone turned into manufacturing tanks and other war vehicles. If you own one of these cars, it will be the holy grail of your collection. The priciest sculpture ever sold at an auction is the bronze silhouette of a man walking with his hands hanging at his side. The piece, named The Walking Man, was created by a Swiss artist in 1961. Recent bids at auctions have reached prices of up to $104 million. Who knew that walking could be such a lucrative activity? The iPhone 4S Elite Gold is now regarded as the most expensive phone in the world at $9.4 million. Stuart Hughes, known for designing ridiculously expensive and totally useless luxury items, has embellished a regular iPhone 4S with 100 carats of diamonds, 500 individual diamonds to be exact. The back side of the phone is made of 24 karat gold, and the Apple logo, as well as the home button, each sport a unique amalgamation of diamonds. Given that the diamonds are the hardest substance on earth, you won't need to worry about the phone breaking if you dropped it. Hughes has got you covered. Watching television in HD is nice, but how about watching it in HD on a $1.5 million TV? That's right, Stuart Hughes, the designer of luxury items, has thought it relevant to produce a 55-inch television with 19 kilograms of yellow gold. The television is studded with 48 individual diamonds of impeccable quality, topaz, and other expensive gems. All of this is framed in real, hand-sewn alligator skin. The 210 karat Chopard watch, while practically quite useless, is the most expensive watch in the world at $25 million. The Swiss designer, Luis Ulysse Chopard, is responsible for adorning a single watch with 874 individually cut diamonds. The watch is composed of a variety of different colors and shapes of diamonds, pink, blue, yellow, white, round, oval, square, <laughs> You get the point. The vibrancy and glistening qualities of the diamonds on this watch would probably make it difficult to tell time. Not to mention it must weigh a ton. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. The next time you ask your parents for violin lessons, tell them you want to practice on a Lady Blunt Stradivarius violin. The instrument was created by Italian craftsman Antonio Stradivari and played by and named after Lady Anne Blunt, granddaughter of the romantic poet Lord Byron. The violin was recently sold at an auction house in London for $15.9 million. There's a good chance you'll never be able to afford another violin lesson again if you decide to bid on this instrument in the future.